Hey guys, it's PC Master Dave over here, and today I want to talk about region code identificators for PlayStation 1 games. A region code identificator, also called a game ID, game serial number, or product number, is a code that comes in all PlayStation discs and has four letters followed by five numbers. The letters and the first two numbers used in the codes provide helpful information regarding the region and type of disk that you own or are looking for. Most of the region code identificators are split into three categories. Americas, Europe, and Japan. Have in mind that American and Japanese games work under the NTSC standard and Europe games work under the PAL standard. Okay. Let's start with the region code identificators for American games. These are SCUS, SLUS, SPUS, and LSP. SCUS stands for Sony Created USA. Games with this code are developed, produced, or published by Sony Computer Entertainment America first and second party studios. Games like Crash Bandicoot, Gran Turismo, and Spyro the Dragon have these types of codes. SLUS stands for Sony Licensed USA, a code reserved for games licensed by Sony Computer Entertainment America to third-party studios. Games like Metal Gear Solid, Silent Hill, and Ridge Racer Type 4 have these types of codes. More than a thousand US games have this type of code, making it the most common for this region. If we take a quick look at the PlayStation Data Center game list, you can see that all released games for America only use these two codes. Now, let's take a look at the SPUS region code. There's no information about what SPUS stands for. I guess it could be something along the lines of Sony PlayStation US, but I'm not really sure. According to readum.org and sonyindex.com Miver site, there was only one disc released with this code, and that was the PlayStation Pix Demo Disc Purple. This is definitely one of the rarest region code identificators for the Americas. And finally, the LSP code. LSP stands for Lightspan Software PlayStation. Lightspan was an educational company that released a line of educational PlayStation games called Lightspan Adventures. These were sold in a box containing multiple copies of games that were never released to the public and were only available to schools. Now, let's talk about the region code identificators for Europe, which are SCES, SLES, SCED, and SLED. SCES stands for Sony Created Europe Software. Games with this code are developed, produced, or published by Sony Computer Entertainment Europe first and second party studios. Games like Tekken 3, Wipeout, and R-Type Delta have these types of codes in Europe. SLES stands for Sony Licensed Europe Software, a code reserved for games licensed by Sony Computer Entertainment Europe to third party studios. Games like Breath of Fire 4 Carmageddon and Contra Legacy of War have these types of codes. More than 2,000 Europe games have this type of code, making it the most common in the European region. SCED stands for Sony Computer Europe Demo. Games with this code are demo discs that were sold alone or came bundled with other games or even magazines. For example, the Final Fantasy VI European release came with two discs, one for the game which has a standard SCES region code, and another one for a PlayStation 2 Final Fantasy X demo disc, which, as you can see here, has the SCED region code. Another example is the European release of Ridge Racer Type 4, 
which came with two discs, one for the game and another one for a Ridge Racer high spec demo that has the SCED region code. Take into consideration that in the US Ridge Racer also came with two discs, but both used the SLUS region code. Another interesting fact about the SCED region code is that it's also tied to the official UK PlayStation magazine. As you can see here, there are more than 80 SCED codes tied to this magazine. The final code for the European region is SLED, which stands for Sony Licensed Europe Demo. This one is really interesting because there were around 54 demo discs that shared this code, including an Italian magazine called Next Station. As you can see in these covers, this CD had demos for different games along with videos and music. If we take a look at the discs themselves, you can see at the top the SLED code and at the bottom you can see the demo disc not for resale warnings. If you want more information about the Next Station demo discs, you can check this Italian site called PlayStationGeneration.it where they have disc covers, descriptions and videos of the different demo discs. Now let's talk about the Japanese region and brace yourself because this is the region with the largest amount of codes. They have SCPS, SLPS, SLPM, SIPS, ESPM, SLKA, PAPX, PCPX, PCPD, and SCZS. SCPS stands for Sony Created PlayStation Software for the Japanese region. Games with this code are developed, produced, or published by Sony Computer Entertainment Japan first and second party studios. Games like Chocobo Racing, Gunner's Heaven, and Dead or Alive have these types of codes. SLPS stands for Sony Licensed PlayStation Software for the Japanese region. Games with this code are licensed by Sony Computer Entertainment Japan to third-party studios. Games like Alone in the Dark 2, Captain Commando and Namco Museum Vol. 1 have these types of codes. By the way, around 4,000 discs released in Japan have this type of code making it the most common in the Japanese region. SLPM is a code widely used in the Japanese region with around 2,000 CDs that have it. This code is mostly used by games but there are also plenty of demo and promotional discs with it. That's why I believe the code stands for Sony Licensed PlayStation Miscellaneous. Games like Twin B RPG, Space Invaders 2000 and Tokimeki Memorial 2 use these types of codes. There are also compilations with this code such as the Hyper PlayStation Remix samplers. There's a rare product with the SLPM 86111-3 region code and that's for the Metal Gear Solid Premium Package that came out in Japan on September 3, 1998. Remember that as a rule of thumb, when a PlayStation package or jewel case has a dash at the end of its code, it means that it contains several discs that go through that range. In this case, 86111 is the code for the first Metal Gear disc, 86112 is the code for the second one, and 86113 is the code for a demo disc of Genso Suikoden 2 that came included. But there was another Metal Gear Solid Premium package even rarer, the Stockholder version. This package came in a golden box that was given to shareholders to celebrate the release of the game. Apparently, only 2,000 copies exist. There are also other special products that use this region code. Let me show you some of them. The first one is the PlayStation EG Word Bundle, which came with a Lexmark printer, a word processing software called EG Word 2.0, and a parallel printer to PS1 serial port adapter. 
The second one isn't even indexed in any PlayStation database, making it very rare, and that's the Groovitions Memorial Box. Groovitions is a design studio based in Tokyo that released a box with 24 videos showcasing their work to celebrate the new millennium. The third one is an in-flight limited edition of Jet The Go sold by Japanese airlines only during flights. The fourth one is a CD with informational software only sold to licensed Japanese dentists. And the last one is just an alternate cover for King of Fighters 98. Turns out that in the regular version, Kyo's eyes are open, but there is a rare version where his eyes are closed. And according to rumors, there are only 100 CDs with this cover. SIPS stands for Sony International PlayStation Software and was one of the least used region codes in Japan with around 20 games using it. Games with this code are games sold in Japan but made outside Japan, just as Wipeout, Jet Moto and Twisted Metal. ESPM is a rare code used only in three CDs and those are Iceman Digital PlayStage, Robots Video Alchemy and Puffy Puffy No PS I Love You. Iceman was a three-man Japanese electronic pop rock group and this CD lets you watch video clips with multi-angle support where you can choose which point of view you want for each part of the song. Robots Video Alchemy is a collection of six music videos from a Japanese band called Robots. Puffy No PS I Love You features two different multi-angle video clips from a band called Puffy. This is definitely the rarest of these discs, and that's because you can use the PlayStation light gun to shoot cans that appear in the screen during the video clips. You can even unlock a photo album by playing this minigame. Because these discs were developed and published by Sony Music Entertainment Incorporated, that leads me to believe this code might stand for Entertainment Sony PlayStation Movie or Entertainment Sony PlayStation Music. SLKA is another rare region code. It's only used in four games and those are Ray Crisis, Strikers 1945 2, Super Light Best Volume 1, Cotton Original and Block Keeper, and Super Light Best Volume 2, Sandbane plus Bump Boat. SLKA stands for Sony Licensed Korea. These games were made in Japan but released only in the Korean market. PAPX I don't know what PAPX stands for, but you could guess that one of the P's has to stand for PlayStation and the X at the end means that it's a code used for trial versions, demos and sampler discs. Take for example this demo disc for the Japanese version of Devil Dice called Sai no Ohanashi. You can see in the jewel case cover and the disc cover the PAPX region code. Several other trial discs for games like Popol Croy, Chase the Express and The Legend of Dragoon share this code. PCPX is a region code used by trial, demo and promotional discs also called Hiba Ihin, which in Japanese means not for sale, or Taikenban, which means demo or trial version. Trial versions of games released in Japan like G-Police and Wild Arms have this code. There are also special releases like the PlayStation official catalog that also has this code. Initially, during my research, I found very little information about the PCPX code, because even though there are dozens of trials and demo discs that are indexed, there are also more serial numbers that are not connected to any particular disc. Fortunately, I found a site called Not For Sale Paradise which had the missing piece of this puzzle. Turns out that the majority of discs with this region code come from two collections, one of them being the Pure Pure and Pure Pure Plus volumes. 
and the second one being the Demo Demo PlayStation series. The Pure Pure and Pure Pure Plus discs were given to PlayStation Club members from 1995 to 2000. They have playable demos and promotional videos. There's a total of 20 Pure Pure discs and 7 Pure Pure Plus discs. The Demo Demo PlayStation series were CDs distributed in stores at the beginning of the PlayStation era. They have playable demos as well as promotional videos and bonus content that were displayed only inside stores for the clients. These discs are all extremely rare, but this next one is exceptional. d kaleidoscope baby universe yes it's not even a game it's more like a music visualizer but this disc ignores the loss of playstation region codes first of all it uses the pcpx 96097 region code just as any japanese release but as you can see in the cover it's not made for the ntsc j standard but for the pal standard and the game's back cover is in French, making this a disc for use in Europe. This raises a lot of questions, but the bottom line is that this was a game made by Sony Japan for Sony Europe that arrived in France one year before the actual European release of Baby Universe, which has an SES region code as you would expect. Along with the SPUS region code in America, the PCPD region code was only used in one disc, but I think this one is more rare. I don't know Japanese, but if we take a look at the back cover of the Volume Zero Pure Pure disc, you can see that it mentions a 12cm CD, which is a normal CD, and an 8cm CD, which is a mini CD. This mini CD has the PCPD 99501 region code and it came with a demo of Jumping Flash, Memory Saves for A Train for Evolution and Ridge Racer, as well as PlayStation previews of Tekken 2, Arc the Lad 2, Tokimeki Memorial, and Tokyo Insect Zoo. SCZS. Guess what? This is yet another rare Japanese code. It was only used by six cities that came with retail fanbooks. SCCS 94101 to 94104 belong to the official Yarudora fanbooks. The Yarudora games are full motion video visual novels published by Sony Computer Entertainment and made by Sony's in-house developer Sugar and Rockets and the animation studio Production IG. SCCS 94105 belongs to the CD included in the Popular Croy Monogatari official fanbook. SCCS 94106 belongs to the CD included in the Circadia official fanbook. If you want to keep discovering rare Japanese games, I recommend a site called NotForSaleParadise.com, which has a collection of special discs rare versions and lots of obscure Japanese PlayStation games. Now let's talk about the PVPX region code. The reason why I didn't include this code in the previous categories is because this is the only code used on discs that are in two different regions, those regions being the Americas and Europe. This is a code used on bundled discs that generally came with the PlayStation console. In the Americas, we can find 7 discs that have this region code and are part of an interactive CD sampler demo pack. If you haven't subscribed to the PlayStation Underground yet, here's what you've been missing.
PlayStation Underground, the coolest thing to happen to video games since the PlayStation. One thing I noticed about this code in the Americas is that sometimes one release can have different codes depending on its version. Let's take for example the Interactive City Sampler Disk 6, which was included with PlayStation consoles around June 1998. Version 1 has the PVPX region code, but the other two have an SCUS region code. I believe that this is because version 1 was a disc made in Japan but released in the US. In Europe, this region code appears only in four discs called Demo 1, which also came bundled with the Sony PlayStation. The last five codes are related to utility disks. They are not region codes for games, but codes assigned to adjustment and checking tools. These codes are SCD, PTPX, PUPX, PEPX, and DTL. The SCD code is a code used only on one CD related to the PlayStation console. If we take a look into the 3rd edition PlayStation Service Manual, in the last page they mention the SCD2700 disc when measuring radio frequency levels. Apparently, this is a test disc used along an oscilloscope to adjust CD players. This disc is also mentioned in the PS1 5th edition Service Manual. According to the PS1 service manual, these codes are used by the quality assurance disk, the aging disk, and the analog controller service disk. Perhaps the easiest disk to find from these three is the aging disk. I gave it a try and found out that it has a simple interface with three different testing options, random access, repeat, and animation. If you play long enough with the start and end values, a video starts playing. This video also appears in the SCUS 94950 demo disc released in the Americas, which was called Hear It Now, Play It Later. This was a CD that came with audio tracks and several technological demos to exhibit the capabilities of the console. The DTL code is used by disks related to a development kit called NetJarose. This kit came with a black debugging PlayStation unit that had no region locking and was capable of running Homebrew software. It also came with a cable for connecting the console to a computer and a CD with development tools. Jarose in Japanese means let's do it together, and one could say this kit opened the doors to indie developers that wanted to create games for the PlayStation. Around 80 games were made with Net Jarose, some of these appeared in demo discs included in the UK official PlayStation magazine. The PlayStation and the PC CDs that came with this kit 
have the DTL code. It's worth mentioning that the NetYarose program was conceived by Ken Kutaragi, the creator of the PlayStation. Finally, we got to cover all the PlayStation 1 codes. Take a look at all the codes we've seen so far. It took me a while to build this list, but it was worth it and I learned a lot during the process. Now, to end the video, I would like to share some fun facts and interesting things I found out during this research. If you order the first three games in every region by their code, you get this. Some people could think that these games were the first ones being released, but that's not true. Region codes can be used as a reference but do not represent the order in which games were released. For example, in the Americas, the first game to be released for the PlayStation was Total Eclipse Turbo. And the last game was FIFA Soccer 2005. I've also read rumors in old forums about Namco and Square facing each other to see who could get region codes that fitted the games or had lucky numbers. I believe this to be true because when you check the numbers, they match the story. Sony gave Namco the first codes to every region apparently for their support during the PlayStation development. As we saw before, those codes are for Air Combat, Ridge Racer the European release, and Ridge Racer the Japanese release. But Square took the SLPS 00700 for Final Fantasy VII, the SLPS 01000 for Front Mission, the SLPS 02000 for Final Fantasy IX, and the SLPS 01234 for Chocobo Dungeon. Namco, in return, took the SLPS 02345 for Pac-Man World and the SLPS 03000 for Miss Pac-Man. And it seems that Capcom and Midway were playing along. Capcom got the SLPS 0222 for Resident Evil and wanted to have the 444 for Resident Evil 2 and the more evil 666 for Resident Evil 3. But Midway got ahead and got the SLPS 0444 for Mortal Kombat 2 and Namco got the SLPS 0666 for Time Crisis. And to end this short story, ASCII got for Derby Stallion, which is a horse racing and betting game, the lucky SLPS 0077. Okay guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're a collector, a retro gamer or just an emulation maniac, I hope you find this information useful. If you liked the video and want more content like this, please subscribe, share and remember, I'm always open to feedback.